Jake a tough result again today, but you're back in the side so from a personal thing. Yeah. That feel good. Yeah, so no, as a team, it's, it's disappointing. Yeah, as a team, um, disappointing to come over three one defeat. I thought we could probably play some of our better football this year in patches, but young and naive still, giving away silly goals, tracking runners, just the simple things, the small details. And um, you know, if we don't sort that out quickly, we could be in trouble. And um, although personally for myself, yeah, it was enjoyable to be back out there. Uh, love being out on the pitch, you know, playing for the club, and hopefully I've done enough to keep my spine team. Like I said, we did compete for a lot of the game. Do you just think? We didn't respond well to that time. Um, you're right, yeah. 2 1 was still in the game. Uh, and we had a couple of chances at the end, Rendell and uh, Jacob. And we caught on the counter from our own set piece. We give away that third one, and that gives us an amount to climb. Then you've got two goals instead of one goal to get back in the game. We kill ourselves, and that's what I'm talking about the small details, and even the second goal going in. We're tracking runners in. Then number 10 is holding the field, ran from deep, but in the bottom corner. So, you know, someone's being lazy or we're not owning up to our uh, mistakes, and it's costing us games. We started the game really well. It was a 100 mile per hour game at points, wasn't it? Both sides were really going for it. Um, was that part of our game plan to get in their faces early doors? Yeah, it always has been. I mean, I'm saying that Harrogate, we, we were told to sit off a little bit, but we always try and play with a high tempo, especially early on, take it to them. I felt we did that really well. Um, we even did that through the game later on. And uh, I don't know, maybe it took its toll at the end, but I think we just need to, you know, sit in and be difficult to play against, and you know, maybe play on the counter and think about the game, use our nails and use our heads, and maybe play on the counter a little bit if we're tired, save our legs towards the end. But we didn't. We got caught. The defeat three one. I mean, I feel sorry for the fans that are travelling. We're not putting on the performances we should be. Um, but we need them more than ever now, really. You know, it's easy to support the team when we're doing well, like the last couple of years. And we're in a bit of a hole now, and we need help. We need help getting dug out of it. And the boys are going to do their best. The staff will do their best, and we need the fans behind us. You say it was a good performance, like you said in patches today. I'm sure you'd all would you all sacrifice a terrible performance for the three points? <laughs> No, we, yeah, of course you would. You know, we we need the points. You know, you get a point away from home here. Be a good point. And I think sometimes we need to think about those things while we're out there. And uh, you know, I think it will come along. We we'll, you know, we might pay better on Monday and come away with three points. You never know. And we'll take that. We'll take whatever we can at the moment. But we need to start getting a little run together. If it's performances or results or both, would be great. But we just need to get some sort of run together. So they're they're a very experienced team. We've quite we've had a lot of changes in the mm. summer, and us a lot of our lads are still very green. Yeah. Would you say they're a bit more street smart than us? Uh, it down to that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you can go down to it. Yeah, I think a lot of the teams in the, this league are quite experienced. You've got players that have come from higher and come down, and come towards the end of their career. Um, but there's some big budgets in this league, and they can afford players like that. Uh, we don't have that luxury, but. I still think we have a team more than capable of dealing with that. And with the staff we've got here that you know coach us and tell us how to do it, we, sh we should be dealing with that better. Um, it's a shame we haven't at the moment, but we are, like you said, a new group. We're still coming to terms with each other. It may take a little bit longer than what we thought. We need to, but I think we'll get there. When it's a quick turnaround of game, do you think that do you find it more helpful as a player that the bad results? Yeah, yeah. With a good result. exactly. Yeah, so we've got a game Monday. We can turn this result around and get that be forgotten about. If we go and put a good performance in against Sutton, get a result. Everyone's you know thinking about that one. We've got three points, whatever, or it's a draw. We've got a point, and it's a, a good performance. So having a quick uh, game quickly come around the corner is, is can be a good thing. Yeah. Well, there's been a lot of games in August. So I think when we finish it, all about eight, seven or eight. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a few injuries. Is that busy schedule sort of taking its toll already? Uh, yeah, you can say so. We've got a small squad as well. We work hard on the training field. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to take its toll. But we need boys to really look after their bodies and make sure they're fit throughout the season. Even in these, you know, I know you're going to have unfortunate injuries, but we need, we need the body, uh, boys to look after themselves, keep themselves fit. So, we've got a strong squad working with these tight games. I mean, like you said, seven games. A lot of boys out for four or five injuries this month. Um, a lot of them quite short term, we should have a few boys back on Monday. Uh, 
Yeah. Hopefully they can do something to help us out a little bit. Well, cheers for your time, Jake. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you.